guys, welcome back. I'm Michaela and I'm Brittany and today we're going to do our monthly favorites. So November is now over and so weird. <laughs> I know it's weird that we're already in December, but we haven't done a favorites video in a little while. So we thought we'd just kind of share with you some of the things that we've been enjoying. So yeah. And if you like these types of videos, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram, which is always linked down below mm -hmm. in the description box and let's just get into it yeah so my first favorite is this single shadow let me see it's really <laughs> awkward uh it's from ColourPop. it's called glass bowl and it's like a i don't know like a violet it's like duochrome kind of yeah it's like a duochrome with kind of like a sheer violety base Violety red base. I don't know with a what is it like a blue <laughs> like a blue purple shift. It's so pretty. You can also like just sheer it out. Let me see if that can like show you what it looks like sheared out. And it just looks like kind of wet and glossy when you do that. It's so pretty. I just love it. I've worn it a lot lately. I've had it for about a month, and yeah. I love it. So. It's so good. That's okay. my first favorite. My first favorite is, um, it's something I got in my Ipsy bag. It's by the brand, what is it, <clears throat> Hanalei? Yeah. And it's called the Papaya Enzyme Powder Cleanser. And they just came in these little packets like this. And um, it came with five little packets in this little thing. And I've, I've used one and I'm on another one and I gave one to her. So I have like two full ones left, but it's honestly been so good. I just, you just put a, like a pea size amount in your hand, drop a little water on it, mix it up and just like clean your face with it. And just after you you use it, at first you're kind of like, is this even cleaning my face? <laughs> but then after you like rinse it all off, your face just feels so clean. And I feel like it also makes it feel like a little tight too. So I don't know. I just, I love, I've been loving this stuff. It just makes my skin feel so nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, my next favorite also came in a recent Ipsy bag. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. I guess I should open it so you guys can see mm -hmm. what it looks like. Um, but I've been loving on my that one too. It's I'm so wearing it today. It's like a peachy nude color. I really like it a lot. It's gorgeous. Yes. So pretty. <laughs> Speaking of blush, my favorite blush right now has been from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. It's part of one of their like holiday sets at Sephora, I think, and I just love it. It's got um, eight blushes and then two highlights, and I'm wearing this blush Angelic today, the one right here, and it's just so pretty, and it's like the perfect amount. It's this size, right? I think so. It's the so, same yeah. size. So it's the size of this, like, sample size in the palette. Yeah. And it's just great. And it's like, you could travel with this and have so many different blush colors and then two highlights if you want it. So I've just really been loving this. Gorgeous colors. Mm -hmm. My next favorite is a liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's one of their liquid cat suits. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. And it's like, it's similar actually to what I'm wearing right now, but this color's a little more brown than red. I'm trying to do this like with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> that struggle is real, folks. But, so it's not a great swatch. But it does look really pretty on. These are like $5 or something. And they're really, like really nice quality. So, yeah. um, Also with a little bit of skincare is this, Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb like moisturizer um, that I've been loving and I got this with I think just with my Sephora points I think it was when I bought this they're like oh you have so many Sephora points you can get these things so I thought hey I'll try a new moisturizer and it's just has like a nice clean smell it's just like that it's just like a gel type moisturizer and just honestly feels so good on your skin has just a nice 
clean oh, yeah. smell to it. it just and I've just in. been loving this. This is all I've been using lately. And it's so good. All right. Next up, it's a sample, and you might think that's really weird, but at Sephora, you can go in and anything that they can like take out that's like foundation or moisturizer or anything, they'll give you a little free sample of it. Mm -hmm. So we went in because we wanted to get color matched for the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. We wanted to try it out. Yeah, and so we also got color matched for the Born This Way foundation, and I'm the color Snow. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now. And I've been loving this. My little sample size is gone. There's like enough left to like cover my nose, basically. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna end up buying the full size of it though because I've, I've really been liking it. It looks so nice on the skin. Yeah. Um, okay, my next one is um, every year for in, at Ulta for the month of October, they do um, what they call Love is the Foundation, and they do this Love is the Foundation brush, and it's shaped like a heart. So cute. It's from It Cosmetics. From, yeah, from It Co Cosmetics at Ulta. And um, this is the one from this October, and it's just pink and sparkly. And it's just such a good brush. And yeah. this is, I've just been loving this. It gives me a little bit more found, or cover, a little bit, bit more coverage of my foundation than my sponge does. And it's just a great foundation brush, so I highly recommend this. They sell it year round, it's just round instead of heart shaped yeah. and like silver or black. But this one's so cute. Yes. So. And the proceeds, so like why they do it in October is because mm -hmm. when you buy a brush, they donate a brush to um, women with cancer. Yeah. And they're Best always cancer. like pink of some sort. Like last year we got it too, and it was like pink fading to silver or something yeah. like that. They're just super last cute. one I've got is actually like both of both us. Of we us. both love it. So we both got this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is just like super duper black. And so black. I'm wearing it in my Thailand and Waterline today. Same. Um, but we both got this in a recent Ipsy bag and we both have been loving it. Honestly, the best black eyeliner pencil I've ever tried. Yes. Yes. And I tried a lot because that's all I did in high school is black eyeliner and yeah. mascara. And it's so good. It's it stays really good. on. It's really black. I don't want this to ever run out because then that means I have to go shell out the, what are they, 20, 24 bucks or something yeah. at Ulta. Something like that. That's but a lot. but yeah. it's worth it because it's that good. It's, it's that good, yeah. Okay, and then my last one is this um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's one of his Velour Lip Scrubs in the scent flavor watermelon gum and he has done these before this is the first thing I've ever bought from his brand but this one was from the summer collection mm -hmm. and it's the watermelon gum I just heard everyone saying that it was one that his lip scrubs are really good and two that the this flavor scent literally is so good smells just like watermelon gum and, and it really does oh my gosh if it's it, like it your childhood smells, in a little container. Yeah, <laughs> it smells exactly like Bubblicious gum, the watermelon flavor, yes. which was always the best one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Exactly. And he's cruelty free and vegan. So and these are edible too. So like, because it's vegan. Okay. Oh my gosh. It just tastes so, like gum. Because you know like when you do a lip scrub mm -hmm. and then it gets in your mouth and then it tastes gross and you're like, why did I put this on my lips and like why this, is it in my mouth? You're not mad about it. No. I used it today it tastes really and good. it just, it feels so nice. And I saw in one of his videos, he said that people were saying that they like to use this for dry spots on their skin. And I've tried that a few times, like where I have like a zit that's healing up and it's just kind of really dry around there. It works. Yeah, because it'll like scrub off the, yeah. the and it's dead not skin and too it's harsh. really hydrating. There's like good oils mm -hmm. in there and stuff. Honestly, I freaking love this stuff. So Real good. good. Alright guys, well those are our monthly favorites for November. Um, hopefully, you know, you maybe learned something. Yeah. Um, but we would love to know what kind of products you've been loving lately. Um, so let us know in the box down yes. below. Leave us a little comment and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Bye.